Hello, welcome back to the free show, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. Our goal is to hit episode, I think it's like 28 to 30 by the end of the week, so when Friday comes around, we can just bang out the last, whatever, however many, six, eight episodes that we need to, and then we'll be done with this game, be able to put it on the shelf and move on to other things. So, episode 23 is upon us, Warhammer 40k Death Watch. Let's go to campaign, and let's get going. Second Dawn, part four. The tech priests have completed their work, and the gunships are coming to extract them. The kill team must cover their escape and hold out against a last assault. Alright, cover our escape. Hold out against the last assault. Joe Fuel, and you know what? We should rename him. I want to rename him. Let's rename him. Can we rename him? Joe Fuel. I want to rename you. Maybe it'll... Can I do it here? Ah. Number... Awesome. There it is. We have Joe Fuel and Joe Fuel number awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so let's get to it, shall we? Apothecaries are rare space marines, and they make great support units. I must sneeze during this load, but I'm going to try to hold out until the guy starts to babble. Like right now. Dawn approaches, brothers. The experimental agent is complete, and we are ready to extract you. Hold the rooftop until arrival. At the passing of night, and in life or death, you will stand victorious. Yeah! Victoriousness! Alright, so, let's see if we can't get that done. Woo, we can zoom, like, way far out. I wonder what our goal actually is here. Give me an, an update. I want to know! That's fine. Uh, I'm assuming it lasts for so many turns, and then we're good. There's no extraction point that I see, so there's that. And we do see a nasty, nasty enemy there who wants us to murder his face in a pretty big way. So, there's that. Joe Field Number Awesome says he's got this side on lockdown. Looks like Joe Field Number Not Awesome also has this side on lockdown. And I, I suppose we can maybe move here and take a peek this way. And then what? Maybe move here and look that way? And is that going to give us a clear shot? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to take the shot and we're going to nail it. Yeah! It was actually pretty tremendous. I'm pretty proud of that. All right. So let's hope that's enough. We shall see soon enough. Alright, end the turn. What's next? A nasty enemy or two comes from over there, and they both die horrible, horrible, awful deaths. Oh, wow, we actually got three shots off. And that was unfortunate. We weren't able to kill him, but we should be able to retaliate. No. No retaliatory striking coming for us this time. That's okay. So, okay, he's a shooter. These guys are both going to get chopped to bits by our individual friend. Wow, would you look at the gene stealers all creeping up all slow like? Actually, quite a few of them. Huh. Well, this could be maybe problematic. Maybe not. There's no way to be sure. I'm thinking we may want to move up into the corner where all these enemies came from and just hold the line there. It might be a better play. It also may be a horrible play. I'm not entirely certain at this point, but we'll see. There's apparently enemies on all of these little platforms, is my guess, because that took a long time there. So my guess is there's two there, there's two there, mm, I guess not two there, maybe two here, maybe two here? I'm not sure. But what I can say with a large amount of certainty, we are going to murder you. We're going to murder you. And then I'm probably going to overwatch in that direction. I'm going to shoot you. And then I'm going to also overwatch into that direction. I believe we're going to move here. And unfortunately that does not give me a line of sight to do anything. Alright. Well, what I would like to do is murder everything in a vision of this. So we're going to go super crazy mode here. Jovial, the original, not extra crispy. 
is going to unload on everyone. He doesn't have... Uh, say, he doesn't have a shot over there, really? And for murdering an enemy, we're able to move a little bit further forward. It's not so bad. They can't close with me yet, so he's okay. I don't necessarily need to use his other ability just yet. Um, I think maybe falling back slightly and overwatching back this way might still be okay. Anyhow, folks, the goal, or what I'm hoping might be a good goal, is to either move into this area and defend from here on all different sides, or perhaps move up into here and defend. I think this might be the better place, like right here. Defend that way, defend this way, and defend that way. We'll see. We shall see. I'm going to move a little bit further forward. We'll see what's up. All right, let's end the turn and see what happens. I thought you might do that. Well, we weren't quite powerful enough to take him out yet. And we know there's a couple more down this way. So there's still some stuff that we need to address. Let's take a shot or two at you and get moving. We have no shot at you guys. All right. To move here, I'm going to overwatch this way. Should have the ability to supercharge our wonderful, wonderful Orton. And no, nah, I don't want. I don't want to Overwatch. And I guess we're gonna murder that guy. Boom! Down he goes. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice style. We'll scoot back a little tiny bit further. We'll go over here, and we'll Overwatch up this way. Again, I know he's not the, like, end-all, be-all. How do we not have vision? Like, we had vision. How do we not have it anymore? It seems a bit suspect to me. Like, what... What is your deal, dude? Alright, you know what? It's, it's totally fine. It doesn't even matter to me. Oh, your weapon's overheating. Awkward! I should have probably noticed that earlier. That would make sense as to why I had vision and I no longer have it now. Yep, it's okay. They can close with me a little bit closer and we can always cut them down into little bits when they get too close, like right here. Ooh, wow, that was a pretty amazing shot, I have to admit. Our sniper should be able to do some uh, damage there. All right, does it tell us how long we have? Wave approaching in four turns. All right, so it's not really telling me how long I have to survive. All right, I'm still going to hold the line this way. Going to annihilate you. Going to probably grenade you. Toodles. And let's see, can we get rid of you? Not completely. Fairly close. All right, and we got one of our AP back for that, which isn't too bad. And it looks like we have a free shot there. Very nice, and we can get you. I think I'd prefer to have you facing down this way. And handling whatever comes our way. And you can actually come up here and handle whatever comes our way this way. Eh, I know, super impressive. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think that's good. Alright, let's end our turn, see what they do now. We have annihilated the vast majority of them thus far. And they do seem to want to murder us in a, well, pretty big way. Now, I'm not sure if I should focus down on any one particular unit or what the case is going to be here, but so far we're holding strong. There really hasn't been too much that's been, like, super deadly or lethal to us, so that's a good sign. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm not sure. It looks like they're just throwing Gene Stealer after Gene Stealer after Gene Stealer at us. And it's looking like they're getting a lot more of them angry with us, too. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if not going back to our bolter was the right play on Orton. Or perhaps using the rocket launcher, or not using the rocket launcher, was the right play. Alright, well, we have this shot. I'm going to take it. Down he goes. There's a lot more coming, though. Alright, 
we're going to utilize that. I'm going to move here, and I'm actually going to start taking some of these guys out, I think. Or at least trying to. I think we can do a little bit of baby damage here and there. That's not too bad. Alright, looks like there's nothing going that way. Got a shot here. I'm going to take two, and then I'm going to overwatch. Oh, or I'm going to overheat and not do any of those things. Alright, now I'm going to move here and overwatch this way. In hopes that we don't get murdered. Alright, well, I guess that's the play. I'm still not sold on the plasma gun being worth it, guys. I know a lot of you are like, the plasma gun is the way, the truth, the life. I am not, I'm not feeling it, guys. I have the plasma gun's pretty decent, but it's it's not good enough to warrant using, honestly. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we can annihilate everything right now. All of these guys you should be able to buzzsaw and or shoot down without much of a problem. And anything that we can't do that to, we should be able to handle it in other ways. Oh, he survived. It's kind of impressive. Kudos to him, alright. Alright, we're gonna shoot you. We're gonna shoot you. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Hopefully we land. Alright, we did. Excellent. Joe Field number awesome. Can you finish this guy? Yes, you can. Brother. Alright, so we brothered him. It's all good up in the brotherhood. I'm gonna take a blast at you. Take you out move you back here and again overwatch this way just on the off chance anything comes and that will an open up Orton to be able to do his a boss like stuff and that is pretty much only murdering things from a distance at 100% accuracy and then finally I guess we could shoot once twice three times Ah, eh, why not we can go for broke nope we're overheated again well the weapon is not proven to be as useful as I would like right now. A little bit underwhelmed with the, uh, like, I love the range. I love the fact that you can do the Super Hadouken Blast of Doom. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I really like about it, but there's also a lot of stuff that really, really sucks terribly awful. And that's the part I'm struggling with right now, is the terrible, awful suckage part. But we'll see. We'll see. It's a trade-off, right? Risk versus reward, as always. All right. Well, I still think that Orton's going to be able to do a little bit of work here. Alright, we're going to go for the long distance murder. We're going to go for the medium distance murder here. Follow it up with, please don't, you overheat it again! How is this real life? That's a, that's a little funny. Alright, let's massacre you. You're fairly close. Excellent, we can do a shot down that way. I don't know. Why don't we just overwatch this way, I suppose. Meanwhile, we'll look down here. I don't know how much we have left to guard ourselves, but so far it's not going too bad. We know there's a minimum of two opponents remaining. But there's more than likely going to be another wave coming in. This time it's probably going to be nastier than just some gene stealers. Or maybe it's going to be the mother load of gene stealers. Maybe every single spot is going to have gene stealers in it. I don't know. I can't say. It is looking a little menacing right now. I kind of wish I did have some AoE slash splash damage for the group, but we'll see. We shall see. Hmm. There are a significantly large amount of them. I think it's going to be more than last time. I mean, last time they had to have spawned at least, what, 15 or so, I would say? Well, at least 10. And this time we're going to probably spawn 15 or 20. Well, we missed. I mean, that doesn't really make me feel any better that we missed our shot. Hmm. Alright, well, it's our turn once again. Orton says good day, sir. We missed. We missed. We missed. Are we going to miss the final time? We've missed five shots in a row. This hit, this misses, rather, but it hit, so that's good. 
Alright. Oh, I'm going to move here and I'm going to take a shot myself here with a Jovial. And I suppose we can do a couple more shots of Jovial here. That's not too bad. Kind of weaken them all a little bit or murder them outright. I'm all about either one of those things happening. Okay. Up next we have you. That probably should die a horrible death. You seem highly resistant to plasma damage, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a massive fan of that. Alright, looks like we're going to overwatch in this general region. And he may be able to close with us. He may not. If he does, so be it. If we manage to kill him, even better. Oh, good, we did. I really didn't think we would. I figured that we would miss quite a few times with our uh, Zafan, but... Nah, Zafan showing that he's more than just a pretty face or a ugly space marine face? I don't... I don't know. Are they are they considered attractive in any way? I mean, is that like a requirement? Do you get like a bigger shoulder pad if you're more attractive? I have no idea how a space marine life works, unfortunately. Or maybe the uglier you are, the more menacing you look, and therefore you're a higher rank? I, I don't know. These are the burning questions that we all must ask. Also, this looks very dangerous, so let's prepare for very dangerous, shall we? Also, let's shoot that guy once. Maybe twice. That's twice. Why not? Hey, we overheated again, but hey, guess what? It'll be ready next time. I think I'm going to actually back him up here. If something swoops around behind, so be it, but I, it hasn't happened yet, so I really don't think it's going to. All right. I'm going to do some murder on you. Wow, that actually was super effective. Jofiel number awesome! The Jofiels are holding the line here, guys. I know you're proud of them. I'm proud of them. I am definitely proud of them. The double jovial action is kind of hard to deal with. Let's be real. You don't want to cross the double jovial. Alright, let's hold the line. And let's end the turn. Bring it on, Tyranid scum. Bring your worst. Bring your best. Prepare to die in an ugly vest. I don't... It's, it's okay. Alright, so there's four, five, six, seven, eight-ish... Aha! I shot you once. Did you feel the pain? Did you? Did you feel the pain? I think you may have felt the pain. Alrighty. Well, I think that you're probably not alive anymore. I think that you're probably going to shoot somebody. Though I don't particularly know why you have no line of sight with anyone at all. So I guess, did something happen to him? Is he like blind all of a sudden? Anyone have an answer for me here? Cause I'm, I'm a little confused. Ooh, very nice. All right, can we grenade anyone? Oh, we can, we can totally grenade that guy. Before we do that, though, let's let's not do that. Nope, stop it. Oh, we can shoot somebody now. I guess this guy somehow blocked this guy from being seen, but he was unable to be shot. Because in some world, that made sense. Oh, and you missed Orton, you fool. What were you doing? That was 100% not the play, my friend. Go ahead and shoot at him. Oh, we actually hit him. Didn't really expect that. All right. Well, we can grenade down this guy. Catch! Boom goes the dynamite, or the dynamite as it were. We we really don't have shots on you guys? All right. Well, we'll back up and we'll overwatch again. And we'll back up and we'll just, well, back up. And then I suppose we can come here and we can overwatch to the right. And we'll see what happens. This should be their last hurrah, I'm assuming. Ooh, they got kind of wrecked real bad there. Okay, well, they came close to getting close to us, but not close enough to really do anything. So they were close to getting close. I know, it's a little bit weird, to be sure. All right, you're dead. It's one less. Let's chop you to bits. You're down. 
All right, Joe Fuel, the original. Can you shoot him? Looks like you can. But can you kill him? Yes, you can. That's excellent, too. Will you miss? Yes. Will you miss a second time? No. Can you get the kill? Apparently you can. We survived the Xenos attack. Woohoo! That should be victory. It is! We completed another chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Because we are a bosses like that. Alright, so let's see who the number one stunner was. It was Jofiel number awesome, followed closely by Jofiel. Oh, wait, wait, no, Jofiel had him, had him beat. Alright, so Jofiel, the original, had him beat. Uh, Jofiel number awesome was number two, and Valerie was number three. Of course, Zephon was playing support, and yeah, 2.4k, not too bad. And then Orton still did a decent amount of work, uh, pulling in almost 3.2k. So, I'll take it. I will take it. All right, you have been awarded 20. Ooh, what's an Auspec? An Auspex. Sounds exciting. What is it? 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 Plus 40 crit to team until your next turn. Ooh, shiny. That's War Gear. Okay. I see. Ooh, and we got a new pack. What? Let's go open some packs, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we got something astounding. We can probably also, before we open the packs, let's go see if we can't sell some more crap and get some better stuff. I don't think I need two Mastercrafted Plasma Guns. Also, where did these come from? Oh, these are what, for Blood Angels only or Death Angels? What is it? Uh, Dark Angels, which uh, we don't have yet, but apparently are in the game somewhere. I do not like the Gravity Gun. It is gone, 100% gone. Goodbye, sir. Get out of here, we don't want you. We have a lot of bolt pistols and things that we can sell. We can confirm this. We can sell. I don't think we'll be able to pull a hundred out of all the stuff that we're selling, though. That might be overreaching our goal and our means here. But we can definitely give it a shot. I right, can get rid of one of the plasma pistols. I'm going to keep the melta pistol. Or the infernus pistol, rather. I'm going to get rid of some of the chain swords. I mean, we have uh, like a billion of them, right? So let's get rid of a bunch of the. Wait, wait. This one's actually being utilized by somebody. I think that was Wolf Iceclaw was using that one. He's like, you will not take my chainsword from me, brother. Oh, but won't I? Won't I? No, you will not take my chainsword from me, brother. I will not allow you to have it in your hands. Okay, somehow we, like, leapfrogged. That's okay. All right, so that's all done. We have quite a few bolters still laying around. We might actually be able to get enough. We're pretty close. I wonder who's using a bolter now. I don't know. Let's just keep selling these things off. One more is all we need. We have plasma guns being used by a few people. We have a lot of melted guns laying around. A couple of heavy bolters. We still have enough stuff that we can make this a pretty decent thing. Let's get rid of the melted gun. And that means we're going to be able to double pack it up once again, folks. So let's d d d d double pack it up. That's right. Let's tap it open and see what we get. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go left, right, middle. <gasps> Ooh, a plasma cannon. That sounds exciting. That also sounds horrifying. And this also looks like it's a it's tyrannic war veteran. Well, that seems pretty exciting. Free fire, glory of Gwilliman. All right, I think he's going to actually be taking over one of uh, probably Valerie's spot, to be honest. Covering fire, I mean, all sorts of crazy stuff. Let's see here. Fired all enemies in range, 40 damage, plus 40 damage, and minus 10 accuracy to all ultramarines. Hunker down, 90% damage mitigation until your next turn. Improved metabolism, what? Uh, resilient, plus 15% damage mitigation. Steadfast base marine remains on overwatch even if damaged. Regenerate in, regenerative implants or regenerative implants. Heal 5% of max health at the end of your turn. Nice. Covering fire, 30% chance that over that attacks cause zero OP on Overwatch. Or AP on Overwatch. Which is pretty OP. Um, and 30% melee damage mitigation. Well, he's pretty boss. And then what do we have here? A Mastercrafted Plasma Cannon. I'm not using that. I don't like the plasma weapons. In fact, I think I'm going to disarm our individual from using that. Well, let's see what else we get. Alright, I'm going to go middle, right, left. We got another Ultra Smurf. That's an assault that we're going to get rid of. 
The Hand Flamer. Flame hits multiple targets in a path. Well, that seems pretty epic. It's got um, eight volley count, and it uh, looks like it could be useful. The damage is a little low, but with eight volleys, might be might be a viable option. I I don't know. What's the right of the warrior? Passive fifteen percent damage to melee weapons. Well, if we were running with maybe a melee heavy lineup, we could use that, but eh, I don't feel like it. All right, let's go into the Space Marines, and I'm going to say that Jofiel, you're probably going to get seated. Sorry, not Jofiel, uh, Valerie. Though I'm not sure. Oh wait, no, he's a Devastator Marine. Is that no, no, no? He's a Space Marine, and he's um, he's whatever this is. What are you? Does it tell us you're a tactical? Yeah, you're you're going to get seated, uh, Valerie. I'm sorry, buddy. Prepare to be set. Prepare to be set. Let's get rid of your war gear. Maybe a blind grenade or something. I don't. I don't care. Um, and we can give you a melt gun because of reasons. I guess I. I have no idea. All right. So we're good. We're good. All right. So Valerie, you have served us well. Kudos to you. You're gonna be set. We're gonna have good old wow, Martiliason. Martiliason, that's a that's an epic name right there. I'm afraid of that name already. He's gonna be joining it. Look at him, dude. He's freaking crazy looking. All right, this dude, crazy. This guy is on par with Joe Field number awesome, and he's an ultra smurf of doom. Oh, and he can totally use the wrath of Damocles. Oh, but somebody else is using the wrath of Dam. Oh, Joe Field is. I can't steal Joe Field's weapon. Oh, he's gonna get stuck with crappy weaponry. Oh, well, I think I'm going to give him the melt gun Though a bolter wouldn't be terrible either. Hmm, we'll give him a melt gun for now. We'll see what we're going to do. Man, look at him. He just, he looks cool. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe you guys are all about the, uh... Well, he's got a little motion blur going on. Scrambling in his brain and whatnot. Anyhow, guys and gals, let's see. Who are we going to... We were going to level up some people, weren't we? I'm sure you've got something you can utilize. What is this? Plus one AP, but take 20% max. Nah, I don't want that. What's this? Black Rage, shoot everything in range. Eh, that's not super great for you. What is this? Uh, after taking damage? No, no, no. Stop it. Nah. Eh. What is this? Killing the enemy heals. I think that's okay. Let's do that one. And we could eventually pump that a little bit higher if we wanted to, but for now, I think we're good. Alright, Jofiel number awesome. You are set. Jofiel, you have 8,000. What are we going to do with you, buddy? What are we going to do with you? I mean, I don't want to give you a melta weapon right now. Because you're kind of crazy right now. Ah, you know what? Why don't we just keep pumping stats for you? I know it's probably not ideal, but 4,700, right, we're almost there. We'll just keep doing it. You're eventually going to get replaced. I mean, as you see, we're, we're starting to come in with the big guns here, so eventually you are going to be replaced. I thought for sure for a second there that he was going to replace uh, Orton. I'm like, you yeah, devastated my raid, but it's not the case. It is most assuredly not the case. Yeah, again, I'm going to kind of lean toward uh, pumping up some stats with these guys. I mean, might as well get the most out of them that we can before we have to replace them, right? Alright, and then Zephon, what do you have, my friend? You have 9,000. Well, I think we're going to go with this right here. Bam. Purchased. Nailed it! And we can stat you up, too? Looks like we can. Alright, I'm going to say that's going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. I should be back tomorrow with another episode. Wow, this one actually almost took a full half hour. Who knew it would take that long, guys? Who knew? Anyhow, I'll be back tomorrow, in theory, with the next episode of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. The goal is to try to get done with it by the end of the week, so we'll see. Anyway, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.